VidIQ have been around for years, and if there's one thing they are good at, it's thumbnail design. But the secret to a good thumbnail is simply all about one thing, intrigue. Let's see if we can remake one of their most trending thumbnails in Canva. Let's get started. Open Canva and create a new design using the YouTube thumbnail dimensions. Let's start with the chalkboard background. Open the photos section and type chalkboard into the search field. Select the most suitable one and place it on the edge of the canvas so it snaps into the background position. Next, open the elements tab, select a line shape and rotate it to a 90 degree angle. Change the line weight to 10, then enlarge it so it covers the whole canvas. Time to add the titles. Open the text section. Add a heading and type before. Reposition the layer. Open the font selection panel and search for the Capsalon font. Change the font color to red, then open the effects panel and give the text a black shadow effect. Hold Alt and Shift on your keyboard and drag the title to the right side of the canvas to create a duplicate. Change the color to green and update the text so it says after. To insert the subscriber numbers, add a subheading, select the Open Sans font, and type in the numbers on each side. Now open the Elements tab and search for Arrow Glyph. Select this one and change the color to green. You will notice the arrow is see-through, so we need to add a white circle shape over it. Then open the Positions tab and move the circle behind the arrow glyph. Select both layers and group them by pressing Ctrl G. Rotate the group to 90 degrees and reposition it beside the subscriber numbers. Now hold Alt and drag a duplicate to the other side. Rotate it and change the color of the arrow to red. Okay, things are starting to take shape. Let's add the viral graph. Add a new page, then open the photo section and search for grid. Add this one, then duplicate it so it covers the whole canvas. Now open the app section and search for charts. Select a line chart, then open the settings panel and turn off labels and grid lines. Open the data section and copy these numbers into the series one column. Resize the chart to cover the canvas, then remove the markers and change the line weight to 10. Change the color to faded green, then copy and paste the chart so we have two versions. Reposition the second one so it sits directly over the first chart. Now open the chart selection panel and change the second chart to a stacked area chart. Change the color and transparency. If we look at vidIQ's chart, they have a slight drop shadow beneath the line chart. To achieve this, rearrange the layers so the line chart sits on top. Now duplicate this chart one more time and change the color to black and bring the transparency down to 25. Move it behind the first line chart and reposition it so it sits just below and acts like a drop shadow. At this point, we need to export this page as a PNG file and re-import it into the thumbnail design page. Resize the layer so it covers the canvas, then open the edit photo section and use the background remover tool to remove the unwanted grid section. Now duplicate the image and place the second version directly over the original. Crop the second version from right to left until you meet the white line in the middle. Then, with the cropped image selected, open the Edit Photo section and select the Adjustment panel. Scroll down to the Color Edit section and adjust the hue and saturation parameters until you achieve the red color effect. Finally, I noticed some green shading in vidIQ's chart. To achieve this, open the Elements panel and search for Green Gradient Shadow. Select this one, rotate and resize so it appears to shine at a downward angle. Time to add our Minecraft character. Open Google and search for Steve Minecraft. I found this one on fandom.com, which is almost identical. We just need to add it to our design, flip it horizontally, and make some minor changes in the color adjustments panel. Now that we have all of the elements added to our design, we can match the alignments and sizing to the original thumbnail by opening a new page, placing a screenshot of the image on the canvas and adding guidelines where necessary. Now open the new design and make adjustments where needed. And there you have it. It's pretty close, right? Let me know if you have any more redesign challenges in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.